advice from the Attorney General. Yeah, but the executive order, which the Supreme Court rule is is in the law right now, says it is against the law. No, but this is for the uh, Attorney General is the highest law enforcement officer in the state, so it's his responsibility to figure that out. So we're following his advice. A local church is taking heat for holding Easter Sunday service despite a Supreme Court ruling. At 4 o'clock, our Abigail James told you how the sheriff is now investigating. She's live after speaking with the pastor of that church now. Abigail. Yeah, well, that Supreme Court ruling limited uh, religious gatherings to 10 people or fewer. And we did speak uh, with a reverend here at this church, and he did confirm to us his Sunday crowd was more than 10. Churchgoers defended showing up to Easter service on Sunday. Well, actually, the advice from the attorney general says it's not. So we're following the advice from the attorney general. Others in the base or Kansas community disagreed. I just think it was not a socially correct thing to do. I, I really, that's my opinion and, you know, nothing against God and et cetera, but I think we need to stay away from each other completely. Reverend Weinkoff defended his church's decision to keep their doors open to the congregation on Sunday. In a statement, he said in part, for weeks now I've told my congregation it is God pleasing and no guilt in staying home. But in his eyes, the environment inside the church is safer than a trip to Walmart or the grocery store. He claims even with a crowd of more than 10, churchgoers were able to come inside and keep that social distance. Now, Reverend Weinkoff says it was never their desire to rebel against the governor or cause harm to anyone. He says they will be hosting services with 10 people from here on out. He says they'll be hosting multiple services um, throughout the week so they can um, go ahead and make that uh, something that they can do. I did ask him why they didn't decide to do that for Easter service. Uh, he did not have a comment for that. Reporting live, Abigail James, KCTV5 News. Thank you, Abigail. Yeah, let's hope no one gets sick from going to that service there.